Hello, this is Kai from Nightwish and Winterson, and nice to be here with Tuonla magazine. Yesterday we had a promo shoot with Winterson for the upcoming Time 2 album, and today we do one one small small clip for the upcoming Nightwish video. So we're gonna do three videos, and this is one of them. We're yeah, we're gonna shoot today, and uh, later today we're gonna do some other winter sun stuff. And tomorrow we have a Nightwish promo shoot, and Wednesday another Nightwish video. So it's mm -hmm. quite it's a busy week. <laughs> hectic. It's uh, on Saturday. This yeah. this Saturday, the third of February, in Apollo here in Helsinki. So I kind of thought that maybe that's the best way to celebrate because I didn't want to. Because when I, when I turned 40, I had, had a lot of people that came over to, to my hometown. Like 140 people were mm. in the same room. And that was like 10 years ago. But this time I didn't really want to do it that way. So I thought maybe the best way to, to do it just to celebrate with music. Yeah. And to play that for people uh, here in Helsinki. There's going to be a lot of music from the past and... Uh, throughout my career so of course I couldn't get all the all the lineups mm. <laughs> and the most of the stuff I do I just play one song from band X and mm. uh, one song from band uh, other bands so it doesn't really make sense to bring people just for one song mm. so I thought I try to gather some backing tracks from from uh, different bands and different different albums to, to put together. Uh, so I'm gonna play a few songs that uh, I have never played and also the band, bands that are, I've been involved have not played them live ever. Yeah. So it's quite interesting. For the past few weeks I've been, uh, you know, every day in my rehearsal space try to figure out what did I play yeah. <laughs> uh, back in the days. Of course there's uh, like this really old stuff I did like with different bands like Rotten Sound and I couldn't really get any tapes from, from those, which is a shame, but but, uh, but I just try to cover a little bit, you know, mm. all kinds of different things. I write okay. notes, okay. Uh, I, like, okay. like, uh, like most of the Nightwish songs we have done in the past, I have like transcriptions, okay. because that's one way, especially when we have to play the old stuff where Yuka was playing the drums mm. so I I kind of found out that that's the best way for me to memorize and kind of really dig in deep into the songs that I, I really need to listen to it and when I write it down I actually learn it by yeah, yeah. writing it yeah so probably I don't even have to go and play my drums after that so yeah. I, I, I play it here Okay. And then I can actually play it because I, I've done it many times that Thomas might say that, okay, can we take uh, this song to maybe to the set list? So let's put it to the set list in three days. Mm. And I go to the tour bus and put my headphones and put, take my paper and write it down. So when I go through that song in my head, of course, I might have a, a few parts here and there which I then maybe need to go over and over yeah. to be able to understand what I, how should I do it. But it's all, all like in here, so it's memorizing the things like mentally. Yeah. So I use a lot of like the mental practice. Yeah, yeah. So I don't necessarily need to play physically anything. Okay, that's really interesting. So, so I can play the, and also it's great because I have that song now on paper. Yeah. So I can go back. So for instance, if I don't play to that song in ten years, yeah. in ten years I just pick the paper up and I, I listen to the song and I, I can read it. So I can I can kind of remember it again much better instead of going back and and uh, sweat a lot yeah. with the with the with the things so physically because everything starts from here anyway oh. it, that transfers all the things mm -hmm. to my legs and mm -hmm. hands so. Where do I need to hit and mm -hmm. in which order and blah, blah, blah. That's a really hard question because I started playing with my mom's pots and pans. 
when I was three years old <laughs> on the kitchen floor. <laughs> they kind of understood that this is something I want to okay. do. And when I was six years old, I got my mm. first drum set. So from since I've been playing all the time. And uh, if you go back uh, and kind of think that what what I have I, have I done and what what kind of things I what kind of music I've played uh, over the years, it's quite interesting that. I've always been really interested in different mm. styles of music, yeah. like jazz and classical and, and cube, like uh, Latin music, uh, not just heavy metal, because heavy metal was my first passion. Mm. Like Iron Maiden was my first, like the first band I, I, I started listening when I was eight years old. Yeah. But before that, I was just listening to the records that my father had and mother had mm. at home on, on vinyl like uh, all kinds of different things like Acker Bilk and, and uh, Elvis and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Mostly I was just playing along with, uh, with all the records because that's about the only mm -hmm. way there was no YouTube or internet or uh, like there was not really many books like drumming books. Uh, so I went to the local music uh, like this music school but kind of that they, they gave drum lessons for, for a while. And we went through this one book with my teacher, and and, uh, and at some point he said that okay, maybe you have to find another teacher because we have gone through <laughs> the all 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 of the uh, the stuff in the book already, and and I I don't really have anything more for you to to show. So so probably after that many years I was just playing mm. along with with different uh, different music and whatever I was listening to. So I was trying to play along with that yeah. in, in, in my room and, uh, and that's it. Yeah. And then when I went to the seventh grade, then I, I, I went to, to play with my, oh, I, I was asked to play in a, in a band. And uh, that was also the, the same year, I think we, we did our first show in a local, local school mm -hmm. in a disco. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we played uh, as a as a like a special yeah a special thing uh, in the disco when of course nobody was dancing <laughs> <laughs> everything was everybody just was, was sitting next to the walls and the floor was empty but it was exciting I think it was like a, like around because I, I went to school when I was six years old yeah. So this was more like when I was around 13 years old. Okay, yeah, cool. that, that was my first show. It's quite young. And I remember <laughs> I had to make a drum solo in that show, and it was fucking horrible. <laughs> Did you make it extra long or? <laughs> no, no, extra short. <laughs> There's uh, certain drummers in the yeah. history, like Neil Peart from Rush, uh, Buddy Rich. You know, this certain guys that uh, are really fun to watch, and mm. uh, it's. When they play, you, you can really see the musicality and, and especially with Neil Peart from Rush, he, he did a lot of uh, like, uh, it was more, almost like a composition. So it was really like, uh, like music on drums. Mm. And of course there's uh, different guys, Max Roche and the different jazz drummers who also played really melodic drum, drum solos. So you could really follow the melody. Mm -hmm. Even drums don't really have melody, but you can tune the dr drums in a way that you can create melodies in a way. So, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, and I, I guess the older the band gets, the more solos there are, so that the singer gets a little bit of, of you know, recess time. <laughs> yeah, the, of, of course, every, everybody has their own role in the band. And, mm -hmm. and, and of course, even uh, solos should mean something. Sometimes you feel that People are just showing their skills, mm. but there's not so much music behind it. So it's yeah. it's mostly like, okay, I practice this lick in a guitar and I just play it mm. because that's how it should be. But but also always it, it's nice when when somebody can make really nice things from simple stuff, like from simple melody or, or uh, can hold a note longer time or whatever it's what what notes do you choose to play yeah not just also what you play but how you play it mm. so it's yeah yeah that's why i like empu a lot because empu's guitar solos are really melodic yeah and really fits fits the music and, and yeah it's great 
I've been teaching you uh, since 1996, so that's also like a long time ago, and that was kind of like an accident. I was having a show in my lo local local town, in, in my hometown, uh, and uh, there was just one guy that came to me after the show that, can you give me and show me something? Can you give me a drum lesson? I was like, I never teach anybody, but I can try. And he came, he came over to my house and, and I was just showing him something and, and it started from there. So I, I was really enjoying it because when you play yourself, you just, okay, you, you know you what you kind of what you're doing, mm -hmm. but when you try to teach somebody else, you, you need to get the information to him in a way. So have to, you have to look yourself. Okay, how did I actually play that one thing in that album? What he's now asking or she is now asking me to explain. So also it was a good uh, way to understand yourself mm -hmm. when you teach other people. You can use different channels. So that's why I always have two drum sets next to each other, so I can show everything, you know, myself. And they see it, they also hear it, and then they have to play it themselves. So there's a different channels I can use using the yeah. using the information. So I I teach all kinds of things, you know, different genres, also jazz and yeah. So. So I actually, like I said, I started 1996, but and this last year I started building my my school next to our house. Mm -hmm. So I have now there like a 65 square meters big apartment where you can actually also accommodate people. Yeah. Because I have some people sometimes coming outside of Finland, so they come to me for three days or four days, and then they can sleep there. They have shower and kitchen and. I guess since you have a lot more time now with winter sun, uh, sorry, Nightwish <laughs> not doing the tours, and well, winter sun also not doing tours right now. Yeah, yeah, that's um, <laughs> You are you? Is that something that you want to develop more, like um, grow this sort of drum clinic side and maybe do some workshops as well? Yeah, yes, yes, that was my idea also because now I have uh, more time to devote for for my teaching and, and practicing myself as well. So that's also the idea. So I can, I can, you know, broaden that kind of the community as well. You know, mm -hmm. to bring certain things to people, people's attention uh, in drum clinics and, and workshops and blah blah blah. And also teaching privately in, mm -hmm. in my in my school. So yeah, that's the idea. I have a, have a different students, and of course they all bring something to the table. Mm -hmm. So I also, of course, learn from my students as well. So it's not just I just give them stuff and they that's it. But you know, it goes back and forth. So, so that's great. Yeah, I, I learn myself as well at the, at the same time because also I, I need to teach them. Sometimes they ask me, "Can you teach me this?" And I was like, "Okay, there's no books about it mm -hmm. written." So I have to come up with stuff that okay, this is the kind of exercises you need to do. To be able to play that, yeah, yeah. So I also have to use my head yeah. a lot, you know. Think about what do they need to do and work with to be able to pull it off later. Yeah. So how can people contact you if they are interested in this? Just via social media. It's from social media from away Facebook or of course you can also send me an email from kai at gmail .com. So so just send me an email and I will. I will give you more information about how, how it works. At least it's not going to be the same as human nature. So probably let's let's say that go back to more heavy, mm -hmm. heavier uh, things on, on the new album. But those also there's a lot of again new winds to blow, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So so different new elements. Uh, but of course you can still. It's still Nightwish, but of course we, we brought back the big uh, uh, symphony orchestra mm -hmm. again to the new upcoming 10th album. And uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, uh, quite challenging music to play as well. So it's, yeah. yeah. So are you in a way happy you don't have to play it live right now? Or? No, 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 no. Totally opposite. I would yeah. love to go yeah. and play it live, but, <laughs> but uh, it will hopefully the time will come when we when we go back charging the batteries first and you know mm -hmm. then 
so of, of course you know it's it's nice to be home mm -hmm. with with the, with the kids and wife and, and dogs but still of course i'm i'm always been a player so i also like to play for the for the people mm -hmm. so but i, I believe I, I i'm not going to be bored so i have a lot of, <laughs> lot of things in 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 the back of my head even night which is now not, now taking a break so so i I'm not gonna be bored. Yeah. <laughs> Are you planning any like new musical things that you might work on? Yes, we we gonna probably uh, record a few albums in in the upcoming year as well. So I will let people know more about that later. But and also we have this uh, like Metallica tribute band. So we're gonna play a show in my hometown with those guys mm -hmm. in in May. All right. So, because it's been many years, we haven't been able to activate. Mm -hmm. So now I can also do a little bit things yeah. on the side that, and probably next year, hopefully, we're gonna do some touring with Auri as well. Okay. So me, Thomas, and Johanna, and Troy, and the rest of the people who are involved. So hopefully, hopefully that will happen. Still working on on the just like basics. Yeah, I'll try to get my basics better all the time so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's never any story yeah yeah it's you can always get better with things so yeah it's up, up to yourself if you are happy where you are then you kind of stop growing mm -hmm. but if you're not happy and you know your faults and mistakes and, and things you need to still mm -hmm. uh, continue working then then you are then you are on a on the right path yeah. because you're never gonna be ready as a musician, there's always going to be, like on the upcoming Nightwish album, there was some things I've never played before, so I had to kind of think, okay, how am I going to do this so, to be able to, you know, pull it off. Of course, I'm happy what I've yeah, done, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but still, I also know where I can go. Yeah. So I can, uh, as long as my hands and feet and my body is in a in a in a good shape, so I can still, you know, play. Uh, I think um, I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. So, so it's not about the age. Now I turned 50, but I, I don't feel like I'm 50 years old. Yeah. Even I played uh, and toured the world since early early 90s. So it's over 30 years of doing shows, thousands of shows around the world, mm -hmm. and you know played on, on many albums, different music. So I don't feel like I should retire now. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. <laughs> So I, I just feel I've, I've just started to, yeah. to, get, to get hold of it. Okay, now mm. I, I also enjoy it probably even more nowadays than I used because in the old days I didn't have any kids or, or families, mm. but now I have family and kids. So I also feel it's really precious when I can go and play yeah. for the people. I'm away from my family, of course, but I still want to have a good time and you know I, I enjoy it yeah. because it's... It's something I'm, I can't do all the time because in the past I could just, just play my drums all day long. I didn't really have mm -hmm. anything else, but now I have something else as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, maybe this is a too personal question, so you don't have to answer if you don't want to. But um, are your kids into drumming? Yeah, my my older one actually actually is playing since like around five years now. Mm -hmm. He's played the drums, and uh, my younger one is not really into in, into instruments but he is doing other things so okay. like martial arts and stuff like that like oh, bo boxing so boxing and mai tai and you know, <laughs> stuff like that so well yeah i yeah. guess it's nice to see when your kids also have a passion even though it's not the same one as you no no it's it's totally great because uh, also i never pushed my kids okay you should yeah. play an instrument or you should do this or that they do what they it's their life and you know mm -hmm. they they do what they what they want and I'm totally supportive whatever they choose. Yeah. As long as they're doing good things, not bad things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yesterday we had this photo shoot for the for the upcoming album and and I, of course it was nice to see everybody. We, the four of us, me, Yukka and Temu and, and Yari in the same room after a long time. Since probably we've been in the same room like that, I think like 10 years ago mm -hmm. and 10 years has gone like this so it's quite quite interesting but still the same chemistry and everything works and you know we have fun together 
And of course, we were a bit shocked when Yari in announced us that, okay, time two is ready. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> after 18 years. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, that's a really long yeah, time. Yeah, because like I, I played the life. drums on that on that already back in yeah, 2006, yeah. in May. <laughs> and my younger son was, he was three months old. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And now, now he's turning uh, 18 next yeah. month. So. It's like happy 18th birthday. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes things t- take time to to to, mm-hmm. to develop themselves. I guess so. Have you heard the end result yourself now? Actually, I, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> so so today we're gonna go after this. I'm gonna go to the Nightwish photo shoot, video shoot for 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 uh, for a while, and then from there we go together to Yari's place, and we're gonna listen to it for the first time. So I haven't heard it yet either. So it's no, right. <laughs> happy happy days. <laughs> well, fingers crossed that it yeah, will be yeah. as great as you imagine. Uh, I believe it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, of, of course, I know the songs, mm-hmm. but I haven't heard the end result. Yeah. So, so it's going to be surprising as well. Yari has some other albums on on the works as well. Uh, not not just that time mm-hmm. too. So, so probably he will work with those for a while, and then uh, at some point probably we're gonna do some live shows again. So, but of course it de- it depends on on the night which schedules and everything so we try to figure out the, the mm. best way to to make everybody happy I have some some uh, ideas some some ideas to to work I'm, I'm gonna do some collaboration with uh, uh, like this Finnish army uh, band that they, they, they there's like the, the drum corps mm. kind of thing so I'm gonna announce some news later what's gonna happen but we're gonna do some something together. Oh, right. Yeah, so something different again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just pretty happy you, you invited me to, to t- talk f- with you for a while and, and hope everybody out there, great year and hope to see you on the road. Support the music. <laughs>